Good day everyone and welcome back again Guys, familiar ba kayo sa napapanood nating video? At kung hindi, by the way, this is the fuel injection valve of an auxiliary diesel engine And for today, mapapanood natin kung paano mag-overhaul and calibrate ng isang fuel injection valve Sige, tara! Unang-unang gawin is to clean all parts of the fuel injection valve ng maigi. At ang ginagamit kong panlinis is only gas oil and kinikis-kis ko siya sa scotch bright para malinis ng maayos. In this part, you should take extra care para hindi magasgasan yung surface kung saan lalapat yung ating nozzle. Huwag po tayong gumamit ng sanding paper para linisin yung surface. At bawal din natin gamitin ng screwdriver or any sharp object para linisin yung loob ng ating fuel injection housing. We should rather use scotch bright for cleaning the surface and copper tube for cleaning the inner side of our fuel injection housing. And why copper tube? It's because malambot kasi siya at hindi siya magkukos ng any scratches and in this part pinapolish ko yung surface using a scotch bright So, all parts are cleaned and it's ready to assemble. Bago natin i-assemble ng ating fuel injection valve, basahin muna natin yung manual para alam natin yung mga importanteng instruction na kailangan gawin. And, ito pala yung mga parts na kailangan natin palitan yung nozzle at yung spring I applied high temperature paste on the thread Yung purpose pala nito guys is para malaman natin na malinis yung ating nozzle. At dapat yung needle ay kusang bababa without pushing. Eh 
And before ko makalimutan, ito pala yung mga name ng mga parts ng ating fuel injection valve. Ilagay natin yung dalawang dowel pin sa ating nozzle. Linising mabuti yung surface bago ikabit yung nozzle. Dapat naka-align yung dowel pins sa butas ng ating injection housing. Pag nakabit na natin yung nozzle, lagyan natin ng takip para in case na malaglag or matumba, hindi masisira yung tip ng ating nozzle. At itong mga part na to, which is nasa loob ng ating fuel injection valve, the first one should be the push rod, and then the next is the spring, and the last one is the thrust bolt. Sabay-sabay natin ipasok yan. At dapat yung groove ng ating thrust bolt ay naka-align sa butas ng ating injection housing. And we should secure it with a screw. But before that, we have to apply the thread locker para hindi siya madaling matanggal. And it's according to the manual. And before calibrating the fuel injection valve, we have to tighten up the nozzle nut around 385 newton meter according to the manual using the torque wrench. Shoutout pala sa British Indian ko na kasama. Napakalakas bumomba niyan. At sa motorman kong napakasipag na hindi na kailangang utusan. Then, it's time to calibrate the fuel injector. We have to connect the fuel injection valve to the testing device. Turn the adjusting screw gradually to increase the pressure until to its opening pressure about 450 bars as stated in the manual. At napakaganda ng buga ng ating fuel injector at wala ding dripping so successful yung ating overhaul. At dahil hindi pa natin gagamitin yung ating fuel injection valve, luluwagan muna natin yung adjusting screw para walang tension yung ating spring na nasa loob then lagyan natin ng tape yung butas para hindi madaling mapasukan ng dumi at pagkatapos baluti natin ng plastic bago natin ilagay sa kanyang storage so guys hanggang dito na lang sana may natutunan kayo thank you bye bye